My name is Simon Bransfield Garth, and I'm CEO of Azuri Technologies Limited. Azuri Technologies is delivering solar power in a new way in Africa. Traditionally, solar power has been sold as products where the user has to buy the system and then uh, gets low cost energy thereafter. But users are used to paying for their energy as they use it. They buy kerosene in small quantities, they may buy candles, they may buy firewood and other such products. And the more they use, the more they pay. Azuri has combined mobile phone technology with solar technology to enable solar to be purchased as a service. This is done by using scratch cards in exactly the same way as people are used to doing with their mobile phones. So every week a user purchases a scratch card and that provides one week of power to enable them to light their homes and to be able to um, charge their mobile phones. After a period of time, users buy out their uh, solar power system and have two options. One is to own the system, but the second one, which many people choose, is to take the next step on what Azuri calls the energy escalator to enable them to get a greater degree of solar power. The next system, for instance, might light four rooms and be able to power a radio, and that steps up in various le levels up to power a television, a fan, a, a sewing machine, and so on. And so, in gentle steps, users move from a situation where there are rural customers but without the benefits of electricity through to still being rural customers but now having many of the benefits of electricity that we enjoy in the West, including media, information, communication, lighting, refrigeration, and so on. Today, about 1.3 billion people, or 20% of the world's population, still don't have access to electricity. Solar power is well known to be an effective way of providing lighting and other basic needs to individuals who are off-grid. But many people still find it very difficult to afford the basic costs of solar power systems. In fact, a $50 to $100 solar power system is roughly the equivalent of buying a used car in the West. Azuri Technologies has produced Indigo, a way of providing solar as a service. Indigo does this by combining mobile phone technology and solar power technology to enable the solar power to be paid for using scratch cards. So for example in Kenya, users spend about $1.40 per week on their solar power system and at the same time save over two dollars a week on kerosene and a further dollar a week on mobile phone charging costs. As a result, users both save money and get all the benefits of solar power, which include having clean, efficient lighting for eight hours every night and the ability to charge up their mobile phones whenever they wish. This additional lighting has a dramatic effect on the livelihoods of those who previously didn't have access to electricity. In one particular example, there was a lady called Alice in South Sudan who used to spend several hours every week walking long distances to cut grass, which would then be used to light her house in 15 minute intervals. Alice had to bring up two young children this way. With the solar power system, Alice now has clean lighting every night. And not only can she look after her children in far more comfort, but she actually has extra time which she can now use to sew small garments and therefore make some additional revenue she wasn't previously able to do. Other people are using solar power to keep their stalls open for longer. One gentleman in Kenya mentioned that he was now able to keep his stall open from about 6 o'clock at night to about 10.30 and he's making an extra $10 a week in profit as a result of doing that. 